Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm tired. No, I'm Rich, better known as the Young Boy. And I know why you're tired. Because I have been working very hard all week. I am so happy. I know Rich, after his surgery, slowed down a lot, didn't you? Hmm. He really did. So he's tired. <laughs> so trying to get him to open this area is a little tough. We are in our outside location today. It has been extremely hot here. It's starting to cool off. We cannot record upstairs in our attic in the summer because it is unbearable up there. I don't know how people years ago slept in upstairs rooms at well, night. I obviously didn't sleep in the attic. Oh my goodness. Terrible. Well, people did. I think people had you homes where they... get used to they, it. It doesn't bother I you. I guess you get used to it, but I... Yeah, it's, it's, it really is like, you know when you go in a sauna and that heat, that dry heat hits you? That's how it is up there. That's it's... Stuff. Like sleeping in an oven. It really is. It's awesome for drying yarn. Oh my goodness. It is the best place in the entire house to dry yarn because it is dry and hot up there. It's amazing. So that's the good thing about it. But you can't record there this time of year. It's impossible. So we are here. Our pool is not yet open because next weekend we are going to visit our daughter and you didn't want to open the pool before we went to visit her, which I can understand. So. Yeah, we're not going to be here, so we'll have all the... Yeah, we're not going to be here, are we? We're taking you with us, though. <gasps> it's going to be Jamie's first time in a hotel. We'll get room service. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. We're not staying with our daughter. She has a cat that would hate Jamie, so I would not do that to the cat. Or to Jamie. Or to Jamie. It's, it's a one-bedroom apartment with a den, but her den is her office and there's not a bed in there or anything so it would be difficult for us to stay so we're getting a hotel pet friendly so that'll be really nice so yeah heard you're doing a podcast with her i did a podcast with her i'm doing one for her oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> for now i'm good <laughs> me and jamie will stay at the hotel okay so, just a reminder, in case you didn't know, I have a second YouTube channel called Sampler Style where I talk about cross stitch and our daughter M came on with me and if you're interested in watching that, a link to Sampler Style is right down below and it's the latest episode. We had a really great time talking about our cross stitch and it was awesome. Please subscribe to that channel and this channel. It helps our channel so, so much, more than you ever know. Give us a thumbs up and a comment would be awesome. So we did that and she wants, she has a YouTube channel. She plays a very obscure, very difficult, text-based, sort of video-based, it looks like a little ant farm. A game online she's obsessed with it and she does a little YouTube channel with it a let's play gaming channel and I've been following along and so we're gonna record together and I'm just gonna provide my witty commentary <laughs> so that's I'll let you know oh, when you that's up Jamie stay in the room and snooze yeah you could take a nap both of you Yes, so good boy. So yeah, so that's coming. So that's that's pretty exciting. I'm excited about going away. It'll be our first time away in our new car. So that'll be fun. Mm. And yeah, so that's it. So anything else going on? Nope. No. So let's get out the show. <laughs> this is a knitting show. Let's do some. This is a knitting show. <laughs> so I have my brand new handy dandy notebook. Where I'm writing show notes. Is that the one you were looking for? No. No. Oh. What do you mean? No, no, no. It's a different one I was looking oh. for. So, um, first things first. I I have a giveaway this week. I only have one. 
And this is some shawl mm. yarn, and it's super, super soft. Mm. Feel it. Like Don't put it on your face. I got him. Okay, I'll put it on your neck. Oh yeah, really? Oh, it's really, really nice. Wow. It's probably alpaca, I can take a guess. Yeah, it must be. Oh, yes, 90% Surrey alpaca, 10% cashmere. Ooh, this is wow. super nice, you guys. It's a worsted weight, um, 150 yards in each skein. It is uh, made in Peru, um, Audine Wool's exclusive for a knit crate. And um, usually they, they include a pattern. So here it is up close. And it's beautiful. What would you make with that? I'm not sure. Let's look and see if they have um, probably a, some sort of a wrap or a shawl for sure. Um, okay, so, oh, a cowl. There's a cowl. There's a hat. Uh, there's some crochet socks. Yeah, so this has the um, pattern in it. And so I will include that with this and there you go so in order to win please make a comment down below about anything you want about the channel thank you so very much I really appreciate it and yeah so that is that Oh, this is a knitting show and I have been doing knitting and I've been doing a little bit of crochet um, but some of it I can't show you. I am doing a test knit. You'll see it probably in August. It's a little slow going because it starts off with very long rows, but hopefully it'll get done soon. But I have been knitting on socks and I am really enjoying knitting on socks and actually really loving it. So I'm gonna put all the big pots in there. I'm gonna put the pots. I need to go to the store and get. It's been too hot. I need. Yeah, so we yeah, have we have beautiful big pots. I need to put flowers in, and maybe tomorrow. Oh, I don't think. I don't know if no, I have time it's tomorrow. Been in the 90s. It's awful here. Yeah, it's been Especially unseasonably if you work outside hot. Like I did. Yeah. So anyway, I thought I finished these. And they're almost finished. Almost, just a toe to go. I have to, I have to uh, Kitchener the toe. So Kitchener stitch is not my favorite stitch. I have to, because I need to concentrate when I do Kitchener. I have to focus completely on it or I lose it. So. I like a pointy toe, so it's only nine stitches, but I I thought I had done it, to be honest, and I didn't, but these are almost done. I'm not wearing wool socks right now, so it's fine, but hopefully they'll be finished by next time. The yarn is Mustache Yarns in the Daily Eggs colorway. I love this colorway. It's beautiful. The next pair of socks is also a Mustache Yarns um, colorway. I'm not sure, I think it's One-Eyed Crocodile, the name of it. Which is a Grinch reference. And again, you can see, <laughs> I have to do the toe on the sock. I think I started it. But I, I really want to just knit in the round. I just want to knit in the round on fingering weight yarn. So I cast on the second one. These have been on the needles for four years, maybe. They're going to be done this month, I'm hoping. So yeah. So I love these. They're so nice and squishy. I love mustache yarns. Beautiful. Lots of fun to knit. So, those are my socks, and then I've been trying to put one stripe of crochet in my crochet baby blanket a week. And I'm halfway through the advent calendar, 
And I'm gonna need more minis, but yeah. it's fine. I think I'm just about almost halfway through, and I'm gonna need more to make it longer. But I have more I have more DK minis that I can dye, so it's not a big deal. But this is last year's advent calendar and the DK weight. And I love it. I will be dyeing some DK mini skeins for um, for an upcoming collaboration with a designer. So I'm gonna, probably going to put those in there. And yeah, I love this. Isn't it pretty? Yes. I, it's so pretty. Just all different colors. It's so colorful. So much fun to work on. I will put the um, link to the pattern down below. It's just basically double crochet with increases and decreases to make the ripple. And it's super fun. I remember back when I was in college, I made a ripple afghan for my parents. I made a couple of them at crochet. It's an old, the ripple pattern is a very old pattern, but yeah, I made one, my, my mom had it in her lake house for years and years. It's gone now, <laughs> but anyway, so, and that is it. What did that, what, no, what did they have to do to win that beautiful yarn? I missed that The one. black yarn? Yeah. The charcoal yarn? Uh, just make a comment down below, oh. and I will do a drawing next week. We will be here next week. We will be doing a show. We'll do a, we'll do a show before we go. Oh. We might not do a show the following week because I won't have any time to dye yarn or anything that week. So, yeah. So we'll do a show, a quick one, next week. Um, How annoying, that woodpecker making noise while you're trying to talk. I know, there is a woodpecker. It's kind of far away. But I've been doing... I've, I've been really enjoying knitting in the round and just mindless knitting lately because we've been watching a really cool TV show. Mm. Tell about the TV show we discovered. Yeah. Mayor of Easttown. Yeah. It's really a cool show. HBO. Special. Limited. So you have to have HBO Max or HBO. And it's called The Mayor of East Town, and I'm completely obsessed with it. I had saw a couple parts of the last two episodes, and it looked really interesting. Well, that's why I said to you, you would probably like it, and you do. You love it. I missed oh. the whole beginning, too. I didn't okay. watch it. So, I said this to him the other night. How can you just sit there and, like, he'll channel surf. We don't watch TV together very rarely except for when we find something like this so he's downstairs and he just channel surfs and he starts very often right in the middle of a show or right in the middle of a movie doesn't care what the beginning is right <laughs> because it, it grabs my interest yeah. right away and I like, this looks interesting let me see how interesting it is and if it is see to me i turn it off and watch it from the beginning if i see something interesting but no you'll just watch it I think you saw the end. Oh, yeah, I know how it ends. Oh, well, don't tell me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm going to hound you and tell no. you. No. Oh, my God. It's The characters <laughs> are so interesting. Stars, and yeah, Kate Winslet. She does a phenomenal Kate job. Kate Winslet. Wow. She is her mother is such hysterical. a good act. Oh, my God. It's funny. It's dramatic. It's shocking. I love this show. It's set in Pennsylvania. And it's a murder mystery because they're fascinating. I mean, they're interesting. And Kate Winslet plays a police officer. A she is a detective. A detective. She is not likable at all. No. <laughs> but she's awesome. It, yeah. She's an anti-hero. I would describe her as an anti-hero. You, you love to hate her. And she's great. It's it's amazing. I mean, you do root for her because she's an anti-hero, and it's it's really good. It's it's excellent. Mm -hmm. And love love the character. It's got everything in it. It's got um, for all age groups. There's teenagers. There's parents. There's grandparents. It's it's cool. It's a really good show. <laughs> they did a good job. So I can't wait to watch it tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's probably going to be another, another season that we're going to 
think they're gonna go for a second season. So all eight episodes are out right now. Um, and, I, you know, I we started at the beginning, even though he saw the last two episodes. <laughs> but we are watching episode five tonight, and so it's five, six, seven, there's four episodes left for us. It's a total of eight. And seven. I hope it comes back, no, eight. Seven. You're wrong, but that's okay. No, seven. I'm gonna look it up right now. Look it up right now. <laughs> Odes of Mayor of Easttown. I looked this up last night. I was looking at different episodes. You're right. It's seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this up right now. <laughs> he does this all the time. It's very rare that he's right. <laughs> it's always more likely I am right. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> You should the embarrassment and this must be too much. I'm for all you. red. <laughs> so funny. Anywho, let's look at some yarn, shall we? Do you see the red dot? There's a red dot. <laughs> that's an umbrella. Mm -hmm. We have a new umbrella. Well, we have a new solar umbrella. Solar powered. Yeah. It's solar powered lights. And of course it's under a tree, so what the hell good is that? <laughs> I know, but you can plug them in, which is amazing. Yeah, it has a plug in, and I have it charging on the So plug. we're going to yes. hang out here tonight. You should start a fire. But you probably don't have any wood. It's hot as hell. Well, this evening well, it might not be. would come up with start a fire in this heat? Well, it's hot right now, but tonight it might be nice. Anyway, okay, so shop news. I have a new chat feature on my shop. A new what? Chat. So if people click the chat, they can talk to you. Oh, good. To you. No, to you. I, I don't put it on your phone. So you no, I what? Get out of here! Don't give me my phone. Oh, I'm not going to <laughs> chat on anything. I don't want to chat. Don't chat with me. <laughs> I'm joking. I, oh, okay. There's no chat. <laughs> there's no chat. Well, there's chat. You can chat with me. So you know how you see these websites and they have a chat feature and you, you click on it and you don't know who you're talking to. But if you click on the chat feature on my shop, it goes directly to my phone. So we can have a chat. So if you ever have a question about knit style yarns or the how yarn to knit, or, or how, to knit, how to get out of trouble. A oh, pattern oh. that you Blue that you might be interested be in. Just send me a chat message and if I don't get back to you right away because for some reason I'm not getting notifications on my watch but whatever um, send me a chat and if I don't get back to you right away if you leave your phone number you will eventually get my answer and we can start chatting so that's really fun I've already had people chat with me a little bit because I sent it out in the last newsletter that there's a chat feature so that's pretty cool um, you know sometimes you have a question and you want to know and you you know, you don't want to wait for an email, so I'm pretty good, pretty good with emails, but that's another way you can contact me. You can contact me, Sharon and at stallyarns.com. Okay, Advents are selling nicely. I still have them in stock. I have the 24 skein traditional set, which is so pretty. It's beautiful. The colors are bright and gorgeous. They're all going to be named after sweets because the theme is a sweet Christmas and um, yeah and you, there's also a 12 skein option 12 mini skein option which is less money and there is an option for just get the for to just get the bag and the skein of yarn that matches the bag so there's three options um, at different price points so if you're interested, go do that. I offer free shipping and free shipping also on Advents. So if you want free shipping on your Advent, you can always enter the code free ship at checkout, United States residents only. So yeah, so any anything you want on the shop in the shop, no minimums, you can um, use free ship. How big is that tree? It keeps it's growing. Big. It's scary looking. I don't realize how big that tree is. that has got to be the biggest pine tree in Dutchess County. It's, it's very big. We should donate it to have to Rockefeller Center. It's pretty much, it would be nicer than the one they had last year. 
<laughs> at Rockefeller Center. <laughs> we have, it's a huge tree. We really should have it taken down because... How much that would cost to take that tree down? Uh, probably 1500 to $2,000 to take that tree down. Maybe even more. Maybe more. No. How would they get up that high? They, they do it. Up. They know there's... We have... Our gardener's incredible. He's no, so no I don't know if I'd get him. That's kind of high for even him. He could do it. He took that one down back here that was just as high. They were all the way up in the tree. I don't know how they did it. But anyway... You don't want to, this is not a tree podcast. <laughs> so. Well, if that tree falls in a house, you won't see any podcast. This won't be a house. The splash pad party is in full swing and oh, I beach, still beaches. have beachies left. I have full skeins of beachy. And little skeins And I have of minis, a mini set of beachy and it's beautiful. We had a friend come over and she bought all of it. My friend bought all of it because she loved all it. Right. Yeah, not all the, not all the minis, but she bought the minis. She bought a full skein and a coordinating skein. She she was really happy. Hmm. So did she buy a bag. She did. She bought the bag. Whoa. Which I don't have here with me, but it matches. I'll put a picture in. So we still have these in stock. The, when the bags run out, that's it. Um, I won't be getting more, but I have plenty of minis set. I am gearing up for fall. Already? Well, because people like to start their fall knitting early. So this is actually not really based on fall things, but um, I dyed a fall-ish set. Mm -hmm. And I love it. And it kind of coordinates with the... Um, moon garden minis that I did a couple weeks ago where the theme was your garden at night so this is more of that this color here is um, evening iris evening iris this color is golden hour golden hour mm -hmm. this is murky moss Murky, murky. We have a lot of moss in our yard. This one is pink sunset. And I can't remember this one. I have it written down though in my handy dandy notebook, so oh, let's yes, take a handy look. Handy dandy what I call my yarn book. Because normally normally I was putting it all on post-it notes, but okay, so oh yeah, the orange one is midnight marigold. Midnight marigold. Just repeating in case that's they good. understand you. Yeah, pretty. Do you like them? Yes. What do you think? I love these. So it's kind of like our garden at night. We have lots of flowers and greenery in our garden. And I love the way it looks at night. So pretty. But this is definitely moving toward a fall palette. Halloween starts. I think I'm going to dye some Halloween skeins this weekend. So get ready for that. Where do you see this next one? You're going to love this. Ooh. Wow. What great tell is that? Well, it's pretty wild. So tell the people what, it, what you're seeing. I'm seeing bikes and trees and... Is it... All kinds of cool colors. Do you know why? Why? It's... I think I do. Why? It's gay pride. Uh, uh, it could be. It's not, though. No. Oh. <laughs> so, what? what is causing all of these trees and bikes to have these colorful things on them? What? What's the colorful stuff you're seeing? I see a pair of socks hanging from the tree. No, it's just, oh, uh, yarn trees. Yeah, it, they're all covered with yarn, which is affectionately called yarn bombing. Yarn bombing, okay. So, I'm calling this set yarn bomb. It's so cute. Look at the socks hanging from the trees. Yeah, I like and the little, little wheels on a bike. And the wheels on the bike are covered with yarn, and the bike has... The bike has yarn in the basket. And there's a theme of yarn 
running through it with hearts. Oh, it even says knit. Oh yeah. Yeah, the bottom says knit. I have never yarn bombed anything, but I don't, I don't knit fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool, right? Hey, what is yarn bobbing? What are you doing? Yarn bombing. All right, so an example. Like apple bobbing? No, 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 not bob. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't say that word on here. I might get in trouble. Yes, don't say any word. <laughs> anyway, a yarn bomb is when you decorate the outside world with knitting or crochet or yarn. And sometimes you'll, you'll see it at Rhinebeck probably, mm. things yarn bombed, you know. It's, it's kind of a concept that only knitters know about, but anyway. So, this is yarn bomb. And I love it. What do you think of the yarn? It's pretty yarn bombed. <laughs> I love the yarn. Very good. The yarn yeah, came out yeah. so pretty. Interesting. Open, open it so you can see the inside. Let's see what's on the inside. Then. And you, this, you could also use this for pride. It's beautiful. Mm. It's definitely pride colors. The yellow. Mm -hmm. so, very so it's nice. a really pretty set. Yes, it is a nice set. So this has a little bit of gray black speckle and these beautiful bright colorful rainbows and I love it and that's it that's all I have for today oh okay yeah okay that is it I'm going to sit out here and edit this show it's beautiful out oh yeah you got the plug right there anyway oh yeah I see that yeah plug for I my think we laptop the umbrella up now Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So anyway, we hope that you all have a great week. Knit something beautiful. And cheers. Cheers. And I got drunk for the first time.